Hi, I'm Lee, and this is day 12 of my fourth attempt to get through the adventure book Greenblood. Previously, we had made our way to meet Eleanor, the Lady in the Forest, also known as the Lady in Grey. And after a quick conversation, we had a choice of we could get her potions. We could say we only came here for directions to the Tree of Knowledge. Or we can say that we want to be a hero. And out of the four votes, three of you voted to want to be a hero, which I was genuinely hoping for because these books are built around being the hero and not being a complete tool. So we want to be a hero who saves the forest and we shall turn to nine. So with nine, I must test your fitness to be the forest saviour, says Eleanor. I hope you pass the test. You would not like to see the forest laid to waste, would you? <clears throat> She looks regal and yet kind, but her eyes never leave yours. If you reply that your reason for visiting the forest is to find the tree of knowledge and take some of its wisdom with you to the lands of men, turn to 24. Or will you say that the forest is too beautiful to be laid to waste and you will try to save it and turn to 40? Now, based on the fact we want to be heroes and I missed the day, giving you a tiny bit of text to vote for when... I'd genuinely be surprised if people don't say, let's save the forest, because if we did want to say, just take me to the tree, you would have voted for take me to the tree. So I'm just going to assume you want 40, and we're going to go and be nice. So, the hackers and burners, the men from the west, say the ants of the forest must be eradicated because the ants eat their crops. What do you say? If you say the ants are indeed pests and should be wiped out, turn to 75. If you reply that the forest would choke and die if there are no ants to leave to eat the dead leaves and wood, turn to 67. If you have wilderness law, turn to 171. Now, as a monk, we do have wilderness law, so we will use it. Uh, because I've done this path privately with someone, effectively wilderness law is saying, I'm not sure, give me the right answer. So unless someone would say, no, let's be wrong. Generally, if there's a skill we can use, we will use the skills. So, 171. Your knowledge of the wilderness and the ways of even its smallest creatures makes this an easy question to answer. You know full well that without ants to clear the debris of wood and leaves, the forest would drown in a blanket of rot in but a few years. Turn to 67. <clears throat> The Westermen hate spiders. They say the spiders are ugly, poisonous and unnatural. To them, spiders are the evil creatures of the demoness. It does no harm to the forest to kill a spider. Are they right, these Westermen? If you say there is no harm in killing spiders, turn to 51. If you say it is bad to kill spiders, turn to 106. If you have the wilderness law, you can turn to 136. So again, I have wilderness law, so we're going to make the most of it. It does feel like of all the skills that turn up, wilderness law is the most commonly used skill, and that if a character doesn't have wilderness law, their chances of survival drastically go down. Your knowledge of the wilderness and the complicated web of links between all living things in the forest makes this an easy question to answer. Without spiders to eat, the birds would die, and without birds to eat berries and spread seeds, there would be no young trees, you say confidently. Without young trees to replace the fallen husks, uh, hulks even, there would be no forest. Turn to 128. Abide with me here a while, Eleanor requests. I can teach you something about the forest and its ways, and I can put you to the test again to see if you are worthy of being hailed the saviour of the forest. You spend three days in the treehouse and the meadow garden talking with Eleanor about the forest she loves. You never realise how much all living things are linked, each depending on the others for survival. Although the wilderness law skill makes you think otherwise. The forest, you learn, is teeming with an abundant wealth of life. All things are tolerated in the forest, which is neither a good nor an evil region, as long as they do not threaten the balance of nature. After you have partaken of a delicious repast of mushrooms and loganberries on the third day, Eleanor starts to question you again to see if you have learned anything. Turn to 112. 
Do you think that the knowledge of the tree of life should be passed on to man so mankind can benefit from the tree's wisdom? Or are men too greedy and selfish to be trusted with this great wisdom? She asks. If you reply that wise men rule well, and you would hope to take the wisdom of the tree of life back to the land of men, to 104. If you say that their knowledge must be guarded as a secret treasure and not given to men at large because man cannot be trusted, turn to 140. So this one I will make a genuine decision. So are there wise men who rule well and that can use the tree of life to use the knowledge from it to improve the world? Or is it too important and that man and men at large cannot be trusted and that it should be protected? So get voting on it. We'll come back tomorrow and see what happens. Thanks very much.